Alright, tell us about the talent you saw from the audition tapes. Well, I think it was a huge range, you know. Um, definitely saw a lot of wonderful talent. Saw some that could be developed a little bit more, a lot of potentials, but not quite there yet. And we saw a couple that were <laughs> um, interesting. <laughs> Give us an example of one of those interesting. Oh, good God. Um, Michael Jackson meets Ghost meets the train wreck. <laughs> kind of interested. Um, was there any performance that stood out? I think Quite a few stood out to me, but um, there was one performance in particular. I don't know why it just touched my soul, you know. And it was one of the contestants that I absolutely—he just had this wonderful likability factor to him, and you know, you could just see he was a complete ease and joy just singing and I love to see that. And is he in the 12? I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, what exactly were you looking for when you were picking your 12? I was definitely above all looking for vocal ability and the potential as well and also presence and I believe that it, it's it's wonderful to have a great voice and an overall presence but you have to be able to communicate with the audience and touch the audience in that way too. Like if I'm not feeling it, if you're not feeling it, I'm not gonna feel it. So definitely looking for that factor. Okay. And did you have any difficulties having to narrow down the talent to twelve? It was difficult in the fact that there are we it's Jamaica, you know, so we have a lot of great talent. But I do believe that when we were getting on to the basic things of what we needed, personality, great voice, you know, the potential that this person has to be as an artist. I think it was it was challenging, but we did a good job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And have you identified any wild cards? I have a couple in my mind, but I haven't out there and chosen, but I definitely have a few. Okay. What are you most looking forward to when it comes to live shows? Well, I love live music, I love a live band, I love instruments. I'm looking forward to see how the contestants cope with that as well because it's completely different singing a cappella in your bathroom or just singing, you know, on a track that is to having to learn how to sing with instruments and learning how to deal with that and you know how much you have to, to push or not push or whatever. So I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to seeing them grow and having a good time. Right. Do you have any tips for the twelve? Just come out strong, believe it, believe what it is you're doing and you know, own your stage, command your stage and don't be afraid to just go out there and be the best you can be because nobody else can be you. So okay. I don't want to see any imitations of other artists, I want to see you as an artist. Mm -hmm. Any tips for persons who want to enter maybe next year? Well, just like Bambina said, practice, 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 practice and definitely, you know, just continue to learn all you can about music, continue to learn about your vocals, your voice, how to protect it, how to make it better. There are so many ways you can do that, you know, whether it's internet, you have YouTube nowadays or whatever, but just practice. And any arguments between you and Bamina when it came to trying to pick the 12? Um, not any really questions? arguments, he just me. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got Bambina kept me laughing too much to really be able to argue. I was trying not to laugh sometimes because I was like, oh my god, that's so mean, but I couldn't help it and I felt bad about myself. But it's okay. <laughs>